Japan just revealed new fully functioning female robots. Japan just released a fully functional female robot that can cook and clean, and you can also have them as your buddy. Is the global leader in robotics working to make robots to replace humans? To help support its aging population, let's start the video and answer our questions by knowing more about the robots being produced by the Japanese industry. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and also press on the bell icon to never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics and future technology. That being said, let's begin. A fully functioning wife robot has been released in Japan. You might get turned off by the price, which is $345,000 in this case. However, the Subterranean Corporation uses it as a source of self-funding. A million dollars can be paid for a single robot and everybody cannot buy it. You can buy it only if you are invited to buy it. It can cook, clean, say beautiful things, do housework and even bear children in an artificial womb. Many see it as the end of women's rights. But at a million dollars or $345,000, it'll be a long time before women lose their jobs. When it comes to Japan, nobody can compare what level of robots they build even though China is 10 years behind in the field of robotics. We have recently seen Model T, which is capable of doing almost all that a human can do. The robot can be used in supermarkets to get products loaded to the shelves. But in the start, the Model T required someone to sit behind the screen and have the VR set to make the robots work. But soon, they will get automatic. The company in the start planned to rent out these robots instead of selling them to warehouses. Model T completely shows the abilities of the Japanese industry of building such a robot. You will be amazed that in 2009, when even the internet wasn't much established and all the technologies weren't that advanced, Japan was the first to come up with the robots that can be used to make pancakes. The robot was able to work as a response to the buyers and upon their request make pancakes for them and also could communicate with the buyers at the shop. Such robots are not getting into common use as the cost of manufacturing them is way higher. For example, the female robot we talked about at the start of the video cost half a million to a million dollars. You will be amazed to know the level of work going on in such robotics is insane. You may easily find a cluster of warehouses with extraordinary security and are located in distant Japanese towns because the corporations behind these don't want anybody to know what is inside these warehouses. In Japan, Honda built a Simo, a robot that could walk, run, leap, hop, play soccer, collect drinks, serve beverages, move out of the way, bow, wave, converse, and play 10 different instruments. Meanwhile, Hanson Robotics is awe-inspiring people by recording a speech, putting on a robotic-looking ugly lady face, and receiving honorary citizenship from Saudi Arabia. Should I say anything? Folks of color versus white people. If you never knew anything about Asimo, then you will be amazed to know that these robots were being developed by Honda in the 1990s. So if you stick to the video, then you might be looking for the answer to how long it will take humanity to reach a level where everybody will have his robot. Well, the best answer to this is Japan. Japan can make it possible for us sooner than any other nation. And indeed, we are moving to a robot fiction movie like Reality, where we will have a huge number of robots in our society. Remember me, robots? The movie explains how robots are going to evolve and how they are going to play a role in our life. And the USR robot has become so common that the ratio of humans to robots has become one robot for every five people in the world. Well, if it is to happen, then Japan will be the first to have that number of robots as Japan was also the first ever country in the world to introduce a humanoid robot, which was the first ever robot that is comparable to, or in actual terms, the most realistic robot in the history of robots, and they introduced that particular robot in 2003. There have been various versions of the product since then. The appearance of the robot has been fashioned after a typical young Japanese woman in the majority of the situations. The Actroid Woman is a pioneering example of a genuine machine that is akin to envisioned machines referred to as Android or Gynoid in science fiction. Titles have only been applied to fictitious robots up to this point. It can replicate blinking, speaking, and breathing, among other lifelike capabilities. The Repli models are interactive robots with artificial intelligence. 
that can detect and understand speech and respond in a like manner. So now we've arrived at ultra hyper realistic facial movement in Japanese robotics. They're figuring out the tiniest details like tiny grins, slight frowns and looks to the right and left. Some may be concerned, yet it is unavoidable. Humans have an instinctive fear of non-living bodies moving in human-like forms. Nature has instilled it in us. It's impossible to avoid. The dread can be transcended if you make the shape so beautiful, much better than humanly perfect. This is why hyper-realistic skin, hyper-realistic glances, hyper-realistic voices and now hyper-realistic emotions all originated with hyper-realistic skin. So these are some realities about female robots in Japan. The global industrial robot market was valued at $8.497 billion in 2011, with Japanese companies accounting for 50.2% of the total. Electronic packaging robots are expected to be valued at $13.369 billion globally, with Japanese companies accounting for 57.3% of the total. The world's second largest robotics market Japan is the second largest market for robot sales in the world as of 2015. Furthermore, Japan's robotics sector is larger than that of any other country on the planet. Over a quarter of a million people in Japan work as industrial robots. Japan anticipates that over 1 million people will work in robotics in the next 15 years, with income approaching $70 billion. Because of not only high-level technology, but also the influence of Japanese robot culture, Japan has become the most advanced robot nation. Since the 1950s, Japan has produced a slew of robot-themed comics, books, and animation. Many robot-themed productions have since emerged from Japan, including Mazinger Z, Gundam, Robotech, Evangelion, Transformers, and others. And a quick fun fact, did you ever know that Sophia Humanoid Robot has 166,000 followers on Instagram and have more than 600 posts there? We guess maybe she is behind posting them. Or maybe the company is posting stuff just to market their product. And also, Sophia has 138,000 followers on Twitter. We hope she will be happy with it. And also, maybe she will also be happy that Elon Musk acquired Twitter. We are now fully capable of producing such robots which can function fully as a human. For example, one of the functional humans, like robots by Japanese industry, Model T is capable of doing the same jobs as a human can do, but it is quite slower than what a human worker does. For example, putting products on shelves takes Model T 8 seconds to do a task, for which a worker takes 5 seconds. But for now, that's not the issue. We can have the robot plugged in all night and day too. To work for us. The issue remains that the AI is behind. For now, the Model T needs someone with VR sets controlling it. With a $1 billion investment in OpenAI, we haven't seen any great progress by the company. But we can hope for a lot in the future. And what if the AI becomes smarter than us? In a Facebook experiment where they wanted AI to chat in a messenger with another AI, both sides started to communicate with each other in a unique strange language which made Facebook shut that experiment right away. What do you think of a scenario where somehow the AI got more intelligent than needed to be? And at the same time, we are having personal robots too. Let us know in the comment section. And also make sure you are subscribed to our channel as we will keep bringing more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching till the end.